So this is something I have created in Blender with the help of uh, 3D models from Sketchfab. So you can see this vehicle, uh, these little cute animals and the trees. Everything is imported from Sketchfab. Okay. I haven't uh, I haven't uh, created anything from scratch here, so yeah, you can do the same with the help of Sketchfab. But but by default you won't by default you won't have Sketchfab Blender. What you need to do is uh, you need to go to Sketchfab.com first. Go to Sketchfab.com and then sign up. And uh, once you sign up with your email address, you have your, your uh, username and uh, um, password. And after that, what you can do is go to Google and um, search for Sketchfab add-on blender. So you can choose this one, but I would say that the second one would be easier. Uh, Click on this link and you will see here it says get the Blender plugin. Click here and well, down here you can see Sketchfab plugin 150 zip. Download this one and then once you download you can go to Blender and go to Edit Preferences. Go to add-ons and choose install and here you will see the uh, blender uh, sketchfab plugin for blender um, as you can see i have already downloaded here and you can see the sketchfab um, plugin 150 zip you choose this and install add-on once you have installed the plugin, and uh, now if you go on this add-ons option and if you search here in the search bar, if you search for Sketchfab, you see import export Sketchfab plugin. Check this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by default is unchecked, so you have to check this and close this. Once you do that. We'll see here, there's a, there's a little uh, small arrow here. You click and drag, and you can see this kind of option here. So, here by default, and, uh, there's item, there's tool, and there's view. Uh, but now there's one more tab which is called Sketchfab. Now, if you go to this Sketchfab tab, you'll see this thing here. And activation login. I I, I have already already uh, logged in, so I do not need to do that. But uh, if you're using this for first time, you will need to put your email address and password. Once you do that, you have this search bar, and whatever you search for, uh, um will show up in this uh, tiny little screen. Uh, let's say uh, dog and enter. This will show an image of dog and it, if you click on the, this image you'll see different options here. For example, I'm going to click on this one and it says, it, it gives this information uh, this is just 1.82 megabyte and it says no animation. Animated is no. So you can now click on import, import model. And once it's done, uh, right now it's covered with this scene. It's actually in the center of with the um, viewport. I can press G to grab and if you grab like this and zoom in 
you'll see there is the dot here. I can scale it up like this. Okay. Uh, like this. So yeah. You can uh, import any kind of uh, 3D model from Sketchfab and use here on Blender. Okay, so this one is different, this one is different, and you can just combine them and create a pretty, uh, pretty good uh, scene for your animation project or your anything you're working on and the models in this uh, the sketchpad website are free to use so I mean you don't need to worry about the copyright things okay so that's how you mm, create scenes um, for your animation or whatever you are doing you can do that from sketch fat uh, on blender okay so that's all i wanted to tell you in this video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel